In this webcast, we're going to take a look at the structure and dynamics of the cycloalkanes. I'll show you how to set up the demonstrations, but I strongly encourage you to do these on your own. Under Insert Template Library, you'll pull up a whole bunch of different structures. If you go to Rings, you can see all the cycloalkanes. Let's choose cyclopropane to begin. Put that on the Marvin Sketchpad. Now let's do a conformational search. Let's find as many conformations of cyclopropane as we possibly can. Under Tools, go to Conformation, Conformers. We're going to use the parameters that are set here. Make sure this is set to very loose. Optimization of very loose will get us the maximum number of conformers possible. If you only generate one structure, then come back and check this and make sure that it's at very loose. If you get too many structures, you're going to want to turn that to normal. Go ahead and run that. It doesn't take very long. And in the case of cyclopropane, we simply pull up this one structure. You can see it's planar. Let's see something about the dynamics. Do a dynamics search under Conformation, Molecular Dynamics. We use the same set of parameters that we used before. We'll run this Molecular Dynamics search and look at some of the motions that are available to cyclopropane. You can see there's a lot of carbon-hydrogen bond bending, uh, some carbon-carbon bond stretching. But for the most part, this is a very rigid molecule. Let's go ahead and look at cyclobutane. We want to remove the cyclopropane first, put cyclobutane on the Marvin sketch pad, do a conformational search. Let's see how many conformations of cyclobutane we can generate. Go ahead and keep that optimization limited very loose. We end up with two structures. You can see them here. One of them, the one on the left, is a planar structure. It has an energy that's suggested to be 39.32 kilocalories per mole. It's almost perfectly planar. The structure to the right, which is just a little bit higher in energy, you can see has a, a slight puckering to it. It's not a perfectly planar structure. There's a pucker to it. You can see the two atoms, the carbon atoms on the left and on the right, are raised up above the other two atoms. It's known as the butterfly conformation. Let's choose that. Run a molecular dynamics search. We'll use the same algorithm as before, same parameters as before. And we'll see that the cyclic constraints in cyclobutane are almost as severe as in cyclopropane. What you'll notice in the case of cyclobutane is a oscillation of some sort, kind of a teeter-totter effect between the atoms on opposite sides of the ring. Let's move on to the next member of the cycloalkane series, the cyclopentane. If we do a conformational search, again keeping the optimization limit very loose, we end up with three conformations. The first one, the lowest energy conformation, which Marvin calculates to be 13.59 kilocalories per mole, can be seen not to be planar. One of the atoms, one of the carbon atoms, lies above the plane of the other four. What you can also find is that there is a eclipsing interaction. Uh, you can see that this carbon-carbon bond is fixed in a conformation where there is eclipsing interaction between adjacent groups, whereas other carbon-carbon bonds are in not quite a perfect staggered conformation for cyclopentane, but it's getting close to a, a staggered conformation. The next conformation is slightly higher in energy. In fact, it's very difficult to tell the difference between these first two conformations. Both of them appear to have this envelope kind of shape to them where four atoms are in a plane and the fifth one comes out of the plane. The third conformation that was found is much different than the first two. You can see that all of the carbon atoms lie in a common plane. And what that means is that the bond angle is a perfect a pentagon bond angle of 108 degrees. And while that's ideal or nearly ideal from the tetrahedral carbon standpoint, the strain energy in this planar structure comes from every bond being in an eclipsed conformation. All of the adjacent carbon atoms find themselves eclipsing their neighbor. And so there are five eclipsing interactions that are present in the planar conformation of cyclopentane. Let's use this to do a molecular dynamics trajectory calculation. And what we're going to find is that there's considerable amount of conformational flexibility in the case of cyclopentane. 
we'll use the same parameters as before. And when we find, and when that search is finished, the trajectory we see shows there are puckering in the atoms above and below the plane of the cyclopentane molecule. In this webcast, we learned that as the ring size gets larger, there's greater flexibility in the cycloalkanes. We also saw that ring strain is distributed between angle bending and torsion. Angle bending is very severe in the case of cyclopropane, much less severe in the case of cyclopentane. And in the case of cyclopentane, the minimum conformation minimizes the number of eclipsing interactions.